Excuse me. Ah, I'd heard whispers of a new convert. Welcome, sister. How does it feel to take your place among Adam's chosen? It's an honor, High Confessor. I'm glad you feel as such. There are many who would squander Adam's grace. Let me ask you a question. You've been to Far Harbor, yes? Seen its barriers against Adam's holy fog? Its citizens' blasphemous refusal to vacate what is clearly his domain? What would you do with such a place? I'd reach out to them. Try to make peace. Do you not believe we have tried? For years, my predecessor begged for peace, while Far Harbor fortified their bastion of heresy. We tried to help them, to bring them Adam's light. Many of our brethren ended up dying for it. But now that I am High Confessor, that time is over. All Adam's foes, whether Far Harbor cowering behind their precious condensers, or that ancient robot hiding away his memories within our very home, they will come to recognize Adam as the sole master of this island. But it is only through unity that we can succeed. Adam requires devotion from all his children. Embrace that, and you will do well here. Now, was there anything you required? I found this icon. The Grand Zealot said you'd be interested in seeing it. Is that the Mother? So the whispers were true. You saw the mother of the fog. Many of Adam's children spend their whole lives wishing for such a boon. It would seem he expects great things from you, child. As will I. Now, was there anything else? Those memories you've been wanting to access? I found a way to unlock them. You have? Atom above, child. I can only imagine what you had to do in order to lay your hands on such information. But understand that you are to bring anything you find directly to me. I will send word you're not to be impeded. And be careful. Too many of our brethren have fallen already trying to unlock the secrets of that accursed machine. Now, go do what you must. Hi, Confessor. Glory to Adam, my child. Did you need something? Be respectful. You walk through hallowed halls. Excuse me, High Confessor? Yes. What is it, child? What can you tell me about the Mother of the Fog? The Mother is one of Adam's most revered messengers. Many years ago, when we were driven from Far Harbor, it was she who guided us through the wilds to this sanctuary. We might all have been lost if it wasn't for her. You should be honored she found you, so... Interesting. Would you mind answering a couple questions for me? I would be happy to. What would you know? I heard the children are responsible for the fog. Is that true? Of course. The fog predates our arrival on the island, certainly. But before us, it was but an occasional presence. Yet through our faith, our devotion to family, Adam saw fit to reach across the land, claiming for us more, year after year, until near all lay beneath his grasp. Now, was there something else I could answer for you? What happened to the Confessor before you? Martin. No one knows. 
One night he was sleeping in his chambers in the vessel, and the next morning he'd simply vanished. The other zealots and I organized a party to try and find him, to no avail. I wouldn't be shocked if he took up in Far Harbor or fled to the south. His dedication to Adam had become questionable. He'd done nothing when Far Harbor executed one of our missionaries. So I dare say it's best that he fled. What happened to this missionary? A foul atrocity. Our good brother Andrews had decided to brave the fog and attempt to bring Adam's light to that ghastly town and remind the heathens of their trespasses. From what I hear, he'd barely spoken a word before they cut him down in cold blood, for nothing more than his devotion. Beasts. How is it you came to this place? We were guided here many years ago, after our exile from Far Harbor. The first of us, my predecessor, Martin and I, had come north at the behest of Adam's great prophet, Confessor Cromwell, from a small refuge in the capital wastes. When we arrived on the island, we found a few souls receptive to Adam's message. Anna, the Archimist, was formerly Far Harbor's doctor before she found the light. But most, they thought us a menace. We were chased from the town driven into the wilds, barely escaped with our lives. Some of us were never the same. It was only thanks to the grace of Atom that we survived, and finally found a place that we could call home. Didn't have anything else for the moment. Adam, keep you. 